Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And, you know, I, I got to admit, I got to say it. Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. So good, right? You just you just want to, like, burst through the wall and tell everyone. Like the Kool-Aid man, but Baby Yoda. You know, get out there and just be all like, it's so good, you need to watch this. And the question then becomes, what could potentially, what could possibly, what could, what, could, what could maybe ruin the Mandalorian? Now, some people out there have thought about the introduction of Cara Dune's character as being SJW trash, which it isn't. It isn't at all, period, point blank, full stop. I don't quite understand it. People are still on that. They're like, oh, my God, it's a woman in Star Wars. Yeah, people have a problem with that. And it's funny to watch, actually. But there's really only one other thing that I think people would, would really rally against in regards to The Mandalorian. One thing that would really knock down the current cred that it's got. And that would be if Ryan Johnson directs an episode. Now, The Last Jedi is is two years done from The Last Jedi. Uh, thankfully, Rise of Skywalker is right on the horizon, hopefully as a palate cleanser. Actually, I think The Mandalorian's a palate cleanser leading up to The Rise of Skywalker, if I'm being honest with you. But Ryan Johnson here apparently wants to direct an episode of season two of The Mandalorian, which they're currently in production of right now. And the internet has thoughts, but I have thoughts too. Let's take a look here at what it all says, just so we know, and we're all on the same page. So, the Mandalorian has made quite the impact since it hit Disney Plus at the start of the month. Uh, sure, Star Wars fans have been impressed with the story of Pedro Pascal's titular bounty hunter. But if we're being honest, they've mostly been captivated by the debut of Baby Yoda. It's not just Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is adorable, but it's also how Mandalorian, who doesn't seem to really care about anything other than his own uh, culvert and himself, uh, has found himself completely taken with this little guy and he wants to save him because he himself was safe. There's a, there's a character arc there. It, it plays in, it, they play together really, really, really well. So it's not just baby Yoda. There is other story there that's happening. This, the memes for baby Yoda are what's the best. I think that's where we are right now. Anyway, uh, this success means that even though we're four episodes into the first season, of the Mandalorian production has already begun on a second season. That was actually, uh, yeah, that was green lit a while back and, uh, Disney's putting the money up, which is fantastic. Now, at the moment, we don't know anything about the return of The Mandalorian, which makes sense because there's still four more episodes left of its first season. One filmmaker has already declared interest in overseeing a new episode of the show, and it could cause quite a stir. Yes, of course. That's because Ryan Johnson, writer and director of Star Wars The Last Jedi, which is uh, beloved by an awful lot of fans of the franchise, but despised by others. And that is true. There are people out there who love it, and they are entitled to having the wrong opinion. We all we all can agree on that. Um, but no, people out there really do like it. Uh, I'm not one of them, but I know people who are. And uh, and Ryan Johnson is very very divisive, and it's not necessarily just because the Last Jedi is not that good of a movie. It's because of how he's responded to people who have criticized the Last Jedi. Uh, Johnson recently asked about his interest in directing an episode of The Mandalorian by Real Bend. Uh, which provoked him to respond with, hell yeah, man, if I had the time, it'd be great to get in there in a heartbeat. I had a set visit for season one, and it looked amazing. It looked like so much fun. Okay, so that actually confirms another little thing there where there was a, he, this interview a couple days ago had like sparked people thinking that Ryan Johnson spoiled that Baby Yoda is going to be in season two because he was on set and he happened to see a Baby Yoda puppet. And like he went to go check it out, but if there's if it was season one, then then you know we um, it's a different world. Anyway, so Favreau confirmed that the second season of The Mandalorian was already in production at a press conference for its launch, remarking, "We actually have the first week of second season under our belt." Uh, and he followed up with this this image coming out of season two. We see John reflecting in the Mando's helmet, and obviously they're on set somewhere because there's lots of dirt and lots of dust and rocks and everything else like this. So we know that they that they really do want to keep things going. We know that they really want to make season two great. Could Ryan Johnson potentially do a good job directing an episode of season two of The Mandalorian? Well, uh, I'm going to give you guys a very controversial answer on that one, and, and that is yes. Yes, he could. Now, let me explain, because a lot of you are going to be like, what, you hate The Last Jedi? I'm like, yes, I do. I don't like the movie. I've complained about it multiple times over the span of the last two years. But as I keep saying, and I keep having to bring up here, when I talk about it, I talk about it from a narrative perspective. I do think the movie was shot very well. I think it was directed very well. I do think it was acted very well. The biggest problem comes from the fact that Ryan Johnson can't write a goddamn script to save his damn life. I don't think Looper was good. 
so many things in that movie made very little sense to me that were very, very much like reliant, you know, like that were meant for the plot, but didn't go anywhere like telekinesis. It was just a plot device in order to have a cool scene where the kid tore that dude in half, which was pretty cool. Actually it still made no sense. What we have here is a situation where Brian or where Ryan Johnson can direct, but he needs to be under the watchful eye of a producer in order to do it. When it came to Star Wars, he was working on the screenplay for uh, the for the Last Jedi while they were shooting The Force Awakens, and he was basing his script off of one of the drafts of The Force Awakens. And JJ would read it, and JJ would laugh when Snoke was killed. And I, I would love to get more details on what kind of laugh was it? Was it a chortle? Was it a smuckle? What was it? What was it, JJ? The world wants to know. Bated breath, my friend. Bated breath. We need to know what happened. But really, what it boils down to, though, is that like he still put out this movie that was still greenlit by Kathleen Kennedy, and it was still yeah, right. I mean, so it just it just it left with nowhere to go, uh, which is not how you do a middle movie. And and Kathy is still trying to defend it, and that's her job to defend it. You know, you, you rarely ever hear anyone not defend their 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 work. Uh, at least not right away, not while they're leading up to this next movie, although I think it would actually earn her some credit if she came out and said we made mistakes with The Last Jedi, but we've rectified them for The Rise of Skywalker. Although if you've read the leaks, that may, <laughs> your mileage may vary on that one. But when you look at Ryan Johnson's TV directing, it's pretty decent. He directed a number of episodes from season five of Breaking Bad, including the one Ozymandias, which is a great, great, great episode. He didn't write it and he didn't create it. And he was under the watchful eye of Vince Gilligan, who masterfully executed that show all through all five seasons and very much El Camino that just dropped last month on Netflix. So we know that Ryan Johnson, under the watchful eye of a gifted producer and showrunner, can create magic. Now, I'm hearing good things about Knives Out, and he was kind of left to his own devices on that one, and that's fine. It's not part of an established canon. It's his own new thing. And, and that's great, you know, even if it is a derivative ripoff of Clue, whatever, right? It, it, it is what it is. But in regards to, let's say, The Mandalorian, who runs it? Favreau. Who also runs it or helps co-produce it? Dave Filoni. They write the scripts. They have the creative team. They have everyone working there. Johnson would come in and he would direct it. And then, but they would still give him the script. He couldn't change it. He couldn't sit there and go, I want to subvert expectations. And John would be like, no, you do not subvert expectations because if ryan johnson would have directed episode four of the mandalorian and not had a script to fall back on you know he would have he would have executed baby yoda he's like no one would have seen that coming ha 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 because that's like the only way i think he can get off is by is by subverting expectations of fans and trolling them but he can't do that here he's insulated but his talent could still be showcased and i think that's actually a good thing i think in a controlled environment with a very tight leash Johnson works the best. It's when you leave him to his own devices that he starts to get too full of himself and he ends up screwing the pooch. So when I think about him coming on to direct The Mandalorian, I'm fine with it. I think it would be a very interesting episode. Would it be a Deborah Chow episode? Probably not. Because damn, that was ooh, still so good. All right, so good. Deborah Chow. But what it could be is something that's interesting to see. And I'm willing to give it a shot. And it'd only be one episode that's like going to be 25 to 35 minutes long not a two and a half hour long movie that's sitting there for two years completely while you wait for the next thing to come out to kind of like cleanse the taste out of your mouth. Right. So there's that. And that's kind of my, those are my thoughts on that one. I think Ryan Johnson being involved wouldn't be a bad thing provided he's got that real tight leash and Favreau and Filoni would be the guys to do it. We'll have to wait and see, but if he says he wants to do it and they're currently in production the season two and knives out just came out, it's possible that they might want to bring him in to do an episode. Uh, he's probably already talked about it if he was on the set visiting it during season one. I would say probably the only issue with it, my only real fallback thing with it, would be uh, if the episode's a success and then Kathy Kennedy's like, we're going to greenlight his movie. That's what we don't want. So I'd be like, I'd be like oh, no, 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 no. Like, keep him far away. Because if it, if it, I mean, like, as much as I would like to just kind of see how he would approach The Mandalorian, if that put him anywhere near like the finishing line for getting the green light to do his trilogy to further delve into ruining Star Wars, uh, no. 
But if it was just a one-off side project, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Anyway, uh, your thoughts, your opinions, let me know down in the comments below. Very curious to know your thoughts. I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, peace out. This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo.